Hi everyone, in this uh, video I would like to share you one use case that I got today with, uh, uh, with a client of mine. Um, so typically my client has the following issues that lots of downloads are on its uh, website. <clears throat> but the problem is that all those uh, downloaded files are all mixed up. Uh, so to give you an idea about what it looks like for real, um, so if they go over here in uh, downloads, they are getting the list of uh, many all the downloads that they have, but some of those downloads are referring to one type of files and some other are referring to other type and they are all mixed up over here, which is a concern because when they want to send it to uh, someone and this someone has no interest in one type of the downloaded file, well of course it's creating some confusion. Um, the client does not have yet the custom report premium feature, so of course uh, it's no help here and we need to find one way to make it. And uh, one way to make it is to create custom dimension. So here this is what I did. I created in fact uh, one uh, which is stand for uh, let's say release like press release and this one stands for studies because this is what those two kind of documents are about. One is about the studies and one is about, <clears throat> as I said, uh, more like uh, press release statements, let's say. Um, so this is how I, I succeed in, in dealing with, with this. So it's all about uh, using the Tag Manager. And when you are using uh, the Tag Manager, what you could uh, technically do is that you could uh, create uh, one tag uh, for the event, so it's an event tag. I can show you this uh, to you. One event tag, which gonna be uh, fired uh, every time that someone's gonna click on a link, which in the case of uh, this given uh, client, all the downloads are in fact happening on this given page so every time that it contains this uh, URL and that there is a, uh, a downloadable uh, file and this one on which uh, it's not only this, it's not really this URL, it's about uh, contain this, uh, this repository and here are the, the downloadable file. That's really interesting use case because it has been the first time that I'm in fact using uh, this condition. It's like all click, all downloadable clicks. Um, so that's typically what you have over here. It's uh, you have all the element click, all the link clicks, and this that's the one that you should pick up over here. That's the downloadable one. Um, <clears throat> there's a mistake that I made within my uh, clients. Is the following one is that please. Uh, uncheck this given box because this given box is uh, so this is the enable link tracking you don't need it for the variable so in my case the variable over here is containing the custom dimension at the action level which will contain the click destination URL which equals to uh, the, the downloads and same stuff over here so for the studies uh, you need to do it. If not, what's going to happen is that the events and the downloadable uh, file will have uh, the custom dimension assigned, which means that they are going to have a plus one and a plus two, and you just want to have a plus one. Okay, uh, that's it. So once, uh, once you are good to go, what you could do in order to debug is that you can definitely go on the page over here and just uh, load it up. Okay, oops, and so in my case, as usual, not working because my Firefox is kind of blocking it, but if I go over here on Chromium, that should work. Okay, uh, one neat thing that you could do is that you could do a right click uh, like this. It allows you to uh, not, uh, open directly the, the file. As you can see here, the downloadable click have been uh, recorded. It's then sending uh, the right data with, as we can see over here. Um, this one has been filled in with uh, the data that we wanted, which is uh, index one uh, value with the uh, with the URL here. So it's, it's all good. It has been filled in properly. And uh, uh, what's going to happen next is that you are getting your data like 
like this so visits um, this is what I did. So this one does not have any custom dimension. This one does not have any custom dimension, but this one's gonna carry the custom dimension. You see, I'm gonna send it to uh, study in my case and it's gonna then populate uh, the, the report accordingly. So as you can see here now, I got the list of all the downloadable which are about uh, this given uh, statement. And this one is about the studies part. Next uh, thing which was really neat in this uh, use case is that my clients wanted to get the full list of the downloadable document. However, what's going to happen is that when you schedule a report, it's just going to get you the first 23 rows. And in order to unlock this, you need to access to your config.config.init.php file. And you need to change this. So I put it at 500 in my case. And as a result now, uh, if I want to get my report, I can, I can get it here, so report, and that I want to export it. So that's my report over here. I can, uh, so it's composed like, like this. So I have my two set of reports that I selected. And now I should see more than 23 lines if I export it. I think that exporting it as uh, TSV file is probably better because if you don't, uh, if you do a PDF, you won't get the full URL. If you do it in HTML, it may appear broken. That's typically the case that you can see here, uh, which is not like uh, super nice, but that's typically okay. And uh, as a CSV, so normally we should get more than 23 lines. And uh, in my case, oops, so took, 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 and took. So normally here, oops, sorry for that. Oops, if I just make it a bit smaller, like this, oops, okay, and I count one, two, select two. As you can see, I'm getting the 30. So I can really get the full list of all my URL, it's, it's no big deal. As far as I'm customizing the email schedule report accordingly within the config.init.php file, and like this, I'm getting exactly what I need without purchasing the custom report. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.